Hello, today we're taking a look at Coffee Pot Terrarium. Oddly enough, this game looks like it has nothing to do with coffee pots or terrariums, which is a bit strange. It appears to be a turn-based tactics game, and by appears to be, I mean I read the Steam description and it said so. So most likely that's the situation. Let's see what it's all about. Oh, we got some levels here. I love levels. Let's do this. Okay, what do we got? Some sort of terrible things. Okay, one, select the feet button to move. Select a blue tile and confirm your selection. Select the lower title button to drop the enemy's tile. Oh, the lower tile button to drop the enemy's tile. Okay, that's this one. Using all your available actions will end your turn. Okay, so we click this. Move out there. Okay, that's easy. And then we drop you, because you're the worst. Goodbye, my friend. You have died a terrible death. How unfortunate. And I guess we get a few more moves. Given that this is the uh, tutorial level, I'm sure that this won't, you know, be too difficult. Goodbye, my terrible evil friend. I have no clue what you are, but you're clearly evil. You can tell because it's black and yellow. And black and yellow things tend to be, quite frankly, you know, bees and things, and those aren't the best. Your lower tile range increases by one each turn. You can have a max range of three. Move and end your turn without dropping a tile. Okay. Let's do that then. We'll just move out here. Chill out. End the turn. Those dudes aren't gonna move, but I do believe that they're ones that can move. Do you see that your range is increased by two? I guess so. Now you're ready to eliminate enemy sentries. Your range depletes when you lower tiles. The farther away you drop, the more it depletes your range. So should I move here and then drop the enemies? I think so. Let's do it. Bada boom. Oh yeah, look at that. It dropped it all around everyone. They got wrecked. That's fine, okay. Oh, look. What is that thing? That thing does not look nice. Raising a path is a useful skill to traverse the map. It can create a path up to six tiles long. It can take a full turn to charge, move forward, and end your turn. Understood. Is that thing gonna move too? It looks like some sort of... I don't know, some sort of bug creature? I'm gonna level with you. It's not the best. I don't like it. Ray's path is now charged. Ready to reach the other side? Stand at the edge and use the Ray's path skill. Okay. Select the moving tiles to raise a path. Oh yeah, look at that. Bada boom, we have raised a path. We will slowly make our way towards the, I don't know, insect creature? Can we call it an insect? It looks like it only has three legs, so that's not really the same thing as an insect. Uh, once raised, you can walk across a new path. Eliminate the enemy patroller. Oh yeah, we can just drop it right here. I mean, do we have to eliminate him? He doesn't look that bad. Jeez. Why are we killing these guys? I'm gonna guess these guys invaded our coffee pots. And that's legit a story, question mark? Not 100% certain. Okay, looks like we no longer have tutorials to save our lives. That's okay, that's okay. Let's just move up here. We don't want to drop a path here or else we're not going to be able to actually walk. Over, walk up to like this area. So we'll just let that guy move a little bit. He looks pretty vicious, I'm going to level with you. I'm not particularly interested in meeting him in any form of open combat. So let's just do this. Goodbye, my friend. I hope you I hope you felt good about your life before you were plunged into the depths. Pretty sure he was highly unfulfilled. He had a sad and short marriage to one of those things. Because quite frankly, aren't all marriages to one of those things sad and short? I, I couldn't actually tell you because 
quite frankly, maybe I haven't dealt with too many of those things. This is probably bad. This might have been a bad decision to move up here. We may be attacked by a terrible creature. Oh. oh well, I guess it didn't want to kill us. That's nice. I enjoy things that don't want to kill us. I'm going to guess those guys just walk back. Did that seriously just drop the tile by one? Ugh. I should have seen that coming. It made too much sense. It made too much sense. Apparently we can't raise something over that way. I'm just going to have to wait for that guy to walk. And now we can... Well, we can't drop it there. If we drop this tile, it threatens to drop us into the sea as well, which I think is a thing. I'm just going to guess it's a thing and go with that. So we'll just wait one more turn. Drop this dude into the abyss. Goodbye, my friend. I hope you enjoyed your life, because it's over now. Completely done for. Not a single one remains. Okay. So we've got two terribly evil creatures. I bet we can take these guys out with one fell swoop. Watch this. We're going to end our turn. And we're going to let them take a little walk. But what they do not know... Okay, we can't raise tiles there. Okay, that was my plan to raise tiles. Ends up uh, that was not terribly effective. So we're going to have to go with plan B to uh, murder these guys dead with other means, preferably something more effective. This is only going to drop it by one, isn't it? Yeah. Yeah. Should have seen that coming. Should Well, I technically did see that coming. I just didn't really... Ow! Thank you for punching me in the face, friend. It was not very nice. Well, what's that going to do? Can we raise one of these by one? No, we can't. Well, I guess this is as good a time as any to figure out whether or not dropping a tile like this is going to drop us into the sea. I commit myself to death! Oh, it didn't even take out the other guy. Oh, that's the worst. Well, okay, we killed ourselves. Okay. Now that we know that we can't actually raise tiles, which is... Probably a good thing to know in the grand scheme of things. We're going to head over here. And we're actually going to take the offensive with these guys. We probably shouldn't drop that tile. We'll just end the turn. Don't you worry, you terrible creature. I will have you know that I am a master at murdering things. Oh, okay, take it back. I may not be a master at murdering things. Hmm. See, we can't really drop him into the sea right now, because if we drop him into the sea, it's going to kill us too. This presents us with a small, small conundrum on the level of, like, we have to consider whether or not we're going to commit suicide in the name of saving this terrarium, which I assume is where we are. So we're going to do it. I subject... Oh, we survived. I'll level with you. Not mad. Not mad about our ongoing survival at this point. Okay. So now, if we just move over here, and we wait one more turn, we can just drop him right into the ocean here. He'll go down and see, like, Shamu and all that jazz. Not that I care much about Shamu. Okay, you're gonna run from me? Get back here. I know I might be some guy with a really weird pot on my head, and I have no clue why this thing is on my head or what it is. It's definitely not a spacesuit because it's broken. And I don't know if you know anything about spacesuits, but um, they don't really work. Did we just fall into the ocean? That's not the best. No. Okay, okay. I don't think I 100% understand how this works yet. But I can assure you, we will figure it out. We will figure it out. Let's end the turn. So presumably, I'm going to guess that every time that blocks are triggered to fall, 
by blocks that fell next to them? I don't know. I don't know. We'll see. We'll see. Let's watch this. If we fall here, then perhaps we can figure it out. Okay, so raised platforms will block it by like one block. So it'll drop all of the things on the same level as it, and I would imagine on the same level downwards as well. Except it will stop at the first block that is slightly raised. I'm gonna take a guess on that one. Sounds like a good guess to me. We're gonna hide over here. Next turn, we should have a three block range to actually drop platforms, and we should be able to take this guy down. Let's do it. Please don't fall into the abyss, my friend. We've fallen into the abyss. What's that all about? Hmm. This is getting a bit sketchy, guys. It's getting rather sketchy. I don't know why we fell into the abyss that time. But we shall figure it out. I swear to goodness. We will figure out why the abyss is killing us. I hate that so much. I hate that like nobody's business. That... Uh... Okay. Oh, well, now we're in a situation. Well, this is a good situation to be in. Clearly, this is the best situation to be in. So maybe if we are... That was a bad move. Well, I consign myself to death at this point. Goodbye, my friends. Okay, so this is very much a puzzle game as much as it is a turn-based tactics game. I think perhaps phrasing it as turn-based tactics was not the best way to put it. Okay, so after having gone back to the tutorial and actually looking at exactly how these mechanics work, I think I've figured out how the block drop works. Pretty much it drops everything in a row. So it'll drop, if we drop a block here, it'll drop everything from here over to here, because it's split, like, perpendicular along this line. I'm not 100% certain why it drops in this direction when you do this one. I guess it's because it's not connected along this line here. That would actually make sense. Okay. Okay, let's try to put our newfound knowledge, our very small amount of newfound knowledge, into use. So we know that since this is perpendicular here, this is one single line along this route, we can move and drop this tile and it won't drop us into the sea because that was the entire row. Okay, okay. So we'll wait for this guy to move. So, I guess the only way that we can actually take this guy down in this situation is to have him move back, which he did. Now, with any hope, we can move over here and he won't see us or anything? No. Okay. No chance. That's not good. That means that we won't have much of a chance of ongoing survival. Perhaps... Can we actually raise blocks this way? We can. Okay. Therein lies the answer to our problem. We got this, people. We got this. So now we should be able to move... ...into here and drop these blocks... ...without actually being dropped ourselves, because that'll be perpendicular to our actual standing. Yeah, there we go, okay. Okay, we got this now. We understand the game. I just wasn't fully understanding it. There we go. Okay. Well, this doesn't look terribly difficult. So what we'll just do is take a little walk over here. Just make sure we don't get too hurt by the whole situation. Hello, my friend. Ow. Ow. Jeez. Buzz off, guys. What are you doing? I'm just gonna drop your row, thank you very much. I'm not having any of you right now. 
Get out of here. Ooh, wow, we took down a lot of that. Unfortunately, I think we're gonna die because this guy, I believe, may be able to get us. Yeah, we're dead. That's okay, that's okay. We can try a bit harder this time. So I believe when we click move, no. I thought there was a way to see where enemies could move to, but I guess not. So we'll just move as far as we can and hope that we can outrun these guys. Because we can't actually drop the block until turn two because we need to have enough actual range. So that takes down that guy and the sentry turret on this side. Which in hindsight might not be the best idea. Maybe we w would rather have taken down this side instead. Meh. Meh. We'll hope for the best. We'll hope for the best. I think that sentry's gonna hurt us a bit. It did seem to have significant range when I was replaying the tutorial. Ow. Ow. Thank you. Yeah. Yeah, we should probably take down this side first. And maybe that'll take down this dude? No, it wouldn't. I don't think so. I don't think that would take down this guy. That is quite sad. We can try anyway. I think it'll have a similar result to what happened last time regardless. Should be able to take down two dudes. So let's drop... Oh, do we not even want to drop there at all? We may want to drop here. That could have the effect of actually taking down pretty much the entire outside in one fell swoop, because we currently have three range. If we drop here, I believe this will take down everything. Yeah, totally. There we go. That wasn't too difficult. We just had to not be so proactive. Jeez, people, this game right here is teaching you to not be proactive, which I personally endorse. Try not to do things ahead of time or prepare for your life. It'll be fine. No, I'm joking. It's actually eh, a pretty solid game, I would say. I'm enjoying it in the very least. I guess that counts for something. Oh, are you serious right now? Where in the heck are we going to go? Um, I think maybe our best move is to just sit where we are? I don't know. No, that's definitely not a good move. We're going to be feeling the pain from that one. Yeah, that was not the best. Okay. How are we going to do this? How are we going to do this? Well, we'll raise that block. I think we can move here. And then drop this. This. Nope, that's not going to do it, is it? We had to drop the other block. We had to drop this one. It was a bad move. It was a bad move. I feel very sad about that. Should have seen that coming. Oh! Oh! Well, apparently that guy decided not to murder us dead, so I'm fine with that. I'm actually completely 100% fine with that. But we're gonna die right now, aren't we? We don't have the range to actually take that guy... Well, we totally did. We totally did have the range to take that guy down without killing ourselves. I should have thought that through slightly harder. Well, our life is a difficult one, it has to be said. As the sole defender of the bonsai trees, we have failed in our duties. This is quite unfortunate. Let's see. I think we can go here, and can we raise a tile? No. Not so much. I think we are doomed, people. Oh, we might not be doomed, actually. We're gonna have to take a pretty wild maneuver here. This is probably gonna kill us but I think it's our best chance. Yeah, we murdered ourselves. Well, you had to do, you gotta do what you gotta do sometimes when you uh, terribly mess up in such a situation as you are pretty much in a position where you die a terrible death. 
you know, first off, that you've done something wrong with your life. Because if you're in a position where you have to die a terrible death... What the heck? What the heck, man? I mean, what the heck? What are you doing with your life? Second off... Oh, no. I misclicked. I wish there was, like, a redo thing. Let's just restart entirely. We had a little misclick. You would think that the whole, like, double-clicking to make sure that you're, you've confirmed your action would be enough to prevent a misclick. But no, no, I just very quickly double-click, not even thinking about the particular action I'm taking, and instead pretty much resigning my poor dude here to a sad and terrible death at the hands of, I don't know, some antediluvian descendants of honeybees? Because I'm going to guess these are descendants of honeybees. They look it, don't they? They definitely play the part. Okay. We are fairly close at this point to the murderation of everyone. We just have to make sure we do this properly. We need to place that there. Move ourselves here, and we can drop this tile to just send that little honeybee down into the abyss. Goodbye, honeybee. You've entered the abyss. Oh, I, I hope he likes the abyss. There's a lot of sharks in the abyss. A couple barracudas. I heard there was a piranha there once. I'm not certain he's gonna like the piranhas. The piranhas are pretty vicious, man. Pretty vicious. Ow. Buzz off, mate. There's ocean between us. You're not supposed to be able to attack me when there's ocean between us. My word, it's not even actually ocean. It's it's like a small pond. Just close enough, right? Right? No? Okay. How far is our range right now? Two blocks? That's not really good enough. Okay. No, that's not going to do us any good. We could do this. Okay, we're going to do this. We're going to create a block there. And murderate ourselves, I guess, because uh, that was not a good idea. That was a very poor idea, I think. Ah. Oh, that was actually... Okay, no, that was a pretty bad idea. Because we did, in fact, end up murderating ourselves. Well, we got pretty close. We tried, we tried. We just didn't succeed. That seems to be the current theme of the day here. We tried very, very hard and succeeded very, very little in the end. Okay. What do we got? What do we got? I think our initial strategy was actually fairly sound. So we're going to head over here. Drop this dude. And then build a block this way in order to take down this guy. And hide on a little floating platform. Which, with any hope will save us from the terrible giant attack wasps, which are pretty, pretty terrible. They're not my favorite thing in the world, but sometimes, sometimes you have to fight creatures that you don't enjoy in order to succeed in life overall, which I think may or may not be the moral of this particular story. It's hard to tell, very hard to tell indeed. Okay, so we're going to build this. And I think that should be enough to save us when we drop that tile that the dude's now currently standing on, this one. Do you want to take the chance? We'll take the chance. Let's see. Goodbye. Yep, we did it. We did it. We succeeded. And we actually have a large tract of land to ourselves. Perhaps we can begin irrigating crops on it and create a small civilization. That being said, it's going to be a very small civilization because it's only us. What are you doing directly next to me, my friend? I don't quite appreciate that. Please buzz off, friend. My word. This is not a good situation. But we can avoid the whole terrible situation by saying that this is the end of the episode. Thanks for watching. This is Coffee Pot Terrarium. Actually, it seems pretty interesting. It's not so much a turn-based tactics game as it is a puzzles game, which quite frankly I enjoy quite a bit. 
I'll admit the tutorial may not have been the best at properly explaining the overall, like, how everything works, but with a little fiddling you can understand it. It seems actually like a pretty decent game. So thanks for watching, and of course, as always people, enjoy the rest of your day.